Hello everyone and welcome to Let's Play Deus Ex Invisible War. You'll probably notice right away that this is the same engine that was used in Thief 3, but this was its first outing and I'll just say right off the bat it is a crummy engine and it's uh, very buggy, so we might have a lot of trouble getting through this game on a modern computer, but I shall endure and hopefully you'll be patient with me as I wrestle with the stupid decisions Ion Storm made trying to get the game to work on PCs and the original Xbox at the same time. Now I will say right off the bat that uh, as far as sequels go, Deus Ex Invisible War gets a lot of abuse, same as Thief 3. Unlike Thief 3, I kind of think Invisible War deserves it because Thief 3's biggest problems had to do with hardware constraints. I thought all of the actual design decisions they included, given their technical constraints, were actually pretty good. Most of the changes they actively implemented that didn't have to do with tech were improvements. That's just not the case in Invisible War. Most of the changes that they made make the game worse. What you end up with is a pretty good game that I just really don't think is up to the standards of the Deus Ex series. That being said, it is still a pretty good game, and I do feel the need to play through it before moving on to Deus Ex Human Revolution, which I actually loved. Not as much as the first, but I thought it was a great game. So, before we do anything else, I need to adjust my options because this is the first time I've played it. Now, this game's really irritating. You have to go through and reset the options every time. It doesn't hold on to your changes. So we're going to play on realistic because normal is for sissies. We're going to turn on subtitles. As far as video goes, I'm just going to leave it at the default because... I'm more concerned with it working than trying to wrestle with the engine and trying to make it look good. Let's do go to controls, though. Let me look over the key mappings right quick. Left mouse for fire is fine. Uh, right mouse for use is fine. Alt fire on F. That I don't really like. I'm going to put that on control. Jump is space. That's fine. Crouch, I like F. Walking, f shift to walk. Cycle weapons on tab, I guess I can do that. Mouse wheel for my tool belt, that's okay too. Data vault, N. Uh, bio mods are on F1 through F6, and it doesn't look like I can change it. <laughs> Inventory menu. I don't know why they put it on V. I'd rather have it on I. Biomods on B. I guess that's okay. Forward. Oh, W, W, A, S, and D are already bound. They're just in alternates. Okay, that's fine. Um, other than that, F10 to quick save, F12 to quick load. I can't rebind. Okay, that's all fine. Credits and extras. Not needed. Let's hit new game and watch the intro. Infusion lab? Evacuated. Trainees? Gave the order myself. What did you tell them? I told them to run. That's all they need to hear until we reach Seattle. Agreed. Anything new on the terrorist? He's in the city. No ID yet. Unclear whether we're the target. An academic distinction if he really has a nanite detonator. Scanning. Survey breach clear. Security bots have acquired the target. 
We're too late. Helipad, let's go. Move. We have other options. We aren't equipped to fight a war. We're going to change the terms of engagement. It's our war, not theirs. We don't need cities or armies. We have the cells of human bodies. An invisible weapon for an invisible war. Here we are. I'll leave the interface color where it is. I prefer to play... I'll just play a white guy. Pretty pretty bland and generic, but that's what I am. So... Yes, we will start the game. Now, since this game uses the Thief 3 engine, it also retains the annoying habit of cutting off my recording every time I go through a load zone. Given the frequency of load zones, this is going to irritate me again, but I guess there's not a whole lot I can do. So, we start off here in the Tarsus Apartments. Where is my data vault? Is it N? Yes. No goals, no notes, no images so far. Now you'll notice the HUD has pretty significantly changed since I was in uh, Deus Ex 1. I have the compass up at the very top of the screen, which is actually kind of handy, and my health is there in the upper left, that red bar. I, no inventory acquired, no biomod canisters to install. Alright, well that's all pretty straightforward. So let's open the chest. We find a basketball, as in nearly every Ion Storm game. Well, and every Looking Glass game, too. Basketballs abound. Let's read this data cube. Map of Seattle Tarsus Complex. Alex, I thought this map might help you acclimate more quickly to the new facility. Dr. Nassif. Map, Tarsus Apartments, stored in Data Vault. How to use Data Vault? Your Data Vault has been initialized. The Data Vault is used to store the goals, notes, and images that you acquire over the course of the game. To access it, press N. Use arrows to move between the sections and pages of your Data Vault. Alright, well let's look at our map of the Tarsus Apartments. Image one out of one, here we go. Alex D, apartment number 451. Then we have a hallway, Leo Jankowski, apartment number 452, Billy Adams, apartment 454, Clara Sparks, apartment number 453, and elevator to rec center. That's all fairly straightforward. How to use inventory. You have just acquired an inventory object. Press I to go to the inventory screen. Use the inventory screen to read descriptions of items, equip, drop, or move them into different inventory slots. Left click an item to select it. Double click on left mouse on an item to equip slash use it for quick access to an item. Move it to the tool belt on the left side of your on-screen interface. To move an item, left click on it to select it, then right click the slot where you want it placed. During the game, you can quickly toggle tool belt items with hotkeys 1 through 6. Oh goody. I've got some binoculars. High Tech Binoculars uses the latest in digital zoom and enhancement firmware to amplify vision. Oh, I also have a hundred credits. That's handy. All right. Continuing on. That doesn't seem to be anything. Let's go to the communicator. Welcome, Alex. I see that you're awake. Just trying to sleep off the chopper ride. What happened? The guards practically dragged me to the roof. Let me introduce myself. Leila Nassif, director of the Tarsus Academy here in Seattle. I've been moved to Seattle? What about Billy? Is she here too? 
Alex, I'm afraid something happened in Chicago. A terrorist attack. We evacuated you and Billy just in time. No one told me anything about an attack. How bad is it? I have friends in Chicago. You don't want all the details in one dose, trust me. Why don't you come downstairs to meet the other trainees? Refer to the map you found of the facility. Billy Adams you know from Chicago. Check in with her in apartment 454 on your way down. What was that noise? Nothing to be concerned about. You have your assignment, Alex. Key code, Alex D's apartment stored in data vault. <clears throat> Goal received, Tarsus Assault. Meet Billy. Meet Chicago classmate Billy Adams in apartment 454. All right. Can't do anything else with the communicator. Food added to inventory. Uh, every food item you pick up gets meshed into these sort of generic food items. Monty Bites candy bar. Get a health boost from Monty Bites. It's the flavor of post-collapse hipsters, the only candy that bites back. Alright. I guess one of the things that just that's just off about the feel of this game, it makes sense because it's 20 years after Deus Ex 1, but it just feels too futuristic. Deus Ex 1 was really anchored in the world we still live in with a few fantastic elements. This feels more like straightforward sci-fi, and I think that's part of its problem. Anyway, there's another data cube by the coffee maker. I asked Nassif to drop this off. Alex, why are we locked in? They bring us here in the middle of the night, then treat us like prisoners with no explanation. Come see me as soon as you can. I'm in 454. Billy. Alright. Whatever. Let's head into the kitchen. Open my fridge. Soy food! It gets... It, see, it just gets thrown into the food category. Which I guess is actually pretty handy, since, it's all, since it all does the same thing anyway. That's a change I don't mind. So, let's head on Attention, out. Self-study will last only until the top of the hour. I need to turn down my mouse sensitivity a little. It's a rare game that starts it off higher than I want, but this is one of them, apparently. Alex is turning a little faster than I want him to. That's better. Death by vent grate. That's no good. And there's a janitor. Until our security assessment changes, Tarsus will be operating as a closed campus. Please remain in the main complex. Such now, bodies, you can't uh, directly pick things up off of them anymore. When someone dies, stuff will just fall onto the ground like this. Ammo is now universal. There is no... Uh, Different ammo types for different weapons have been eliminated. Book. Upper and Lower Seattle. Two hearts beat as one. Seattle rose from the ashes of the collapse by building onward and upward. Pillars were erected in the center of the old city, representing the city's firm resolve to continue and to raise itself up. Upper Seattle was constructed on a platform laid on these pillars, with Lower Seattle nestled safely beneath and an inclinator connecting the two levels. Alright. Snack machine, buy a candy bar for 20 credits. No, thank you. Let's check out apartment 452. Key code or multi tool required. You looking for me? Huh? You looking for Leo Jankowski? Until our security assessment changes, Tarsus will be operating as a closed campus. For please Horn remain RCP, in the main complex. Special security division. And I bet you wish it was you, huh, plebe? All right. He sounds like a douchebag. Let's head over here to the left and talk to the janitor who ran away from the carnage. Oh god! He's, Attention he's dead, trainees. Self what happened? Last only until the top of Mike the and I, we, we've worked here for years. Usually nothing makes it past the turrets. Do you know what's going on? Dr. Nassif acted like nothing's wrong. I, I'm sure SSC will be sending help any minute now. Wait, wait. I, I've got to snap out of it. I'm gonna talk everyone to death, just like the first game. Changes, the the will be operating as a closed At least it's no complex. 
You must have orders from Dr. Nassif. You should probably get going. I wonder what's taking security so long. I guess I'd better just wait here. Oh, God. He's really dead, isn't he? All right, he's dead. Attention, trainees. Yeah, who's there? The the it's me, Alex. Finally, it's about time you woke up. Come on in. We've got to talk about what's been going on around here. All right, let's talk to Billy. I take it you heard the disturbance. Any idea what's going on around here? This Dr. Nassif is telling me to ignore what sounded like Until an explosion, and I just saw a man killed in the hallway. I tried to get answers out of Dr. Nassif, but all she'd give me is the elevator code. It's 28901 if you need it. I don't know what's going on, but it's clear we're not safe. We don't know anyone here, so we'd better watch each other's back. Thanks. I guess I should meet our hostess here already. Not much else I can do, and maybe I can get some better answers in person. You coming? No, not yet. I've got Attention things to trainees. do. Alright. <clears throat> New primary goal. Tarsus Assault, report to Dr. Nassif. Check in with Dr. Nassif on the rec level. Well, that's pretty straightforward. Keycode acquired Tarsus Recreation. Another change they made, even though Billy gave me an actual five-digit code, you don't enter codes anymore. If you know it, Alex just automatically enters it. That seems convenient, but I actually liked typing in codes back in Deus Ex 1. It felt immersive to me. Made me... Kind of made me forget I was in a video game. This game constantly reminds you that you're playing a video game, and I think that's probably the biggest flaw. They didn't design with immersion in mind like they did the first one. I'm sure you've already made a good first impression on Dr. Nassif. Yeah, she wasn't exactly thrilled to catch me rifling through her office. You've always been good at making friends. There were an awful lot of strange files in Nassif's office. All this stuff about test subjects and observation. I can't imagine what that has to do with Tarsus. You should see if you have more luck poking around. I'll let you know if I learn anything. Have you met anyone else here besides Nassif? Yeah, I've met two of the other trainees. I wasn't impressed. Just like our first day at Chicago Tarsus years ago. There's never any decent competition. That bad. Trust me, you and I must be the Attention best Tarsus trainees. has to offer right now. Will last only until the top of the hour. Nassif owes us an explanation. For everything. Tarsus is falling apart. We need to get out before it comes crashing down on us. Explosions, and a man gets killed, and they won't give us answers? How can we possibly trust them? Until our security up to something, changes, and if it was Tarsus in our best be interest, we wouldn't be kept in the dark about it. Please remain in the main complex. I checked out the public terminal. Looks like we got out of Chicago just in time. Good thing there's two of us. We can watch each other's backs. I'll find a way out of this place. Just give me time. Attention trainees. Yes, I haven't Self scored any points with Dr. The the hour. Not long before we're the superstars here, I'm sure. There's no good reason for them to lock us in the facility like this. We deserve better treatment than this. Until our security Nassif assessment changes, Okay, she's done. <clears throat> uh, I forgot to mention, just like Deus Ex 1, I'm gonna play with the same parameters. I'm just gonna go as completionist as possible. I want to find everything, and I'm gonna play non-lethally. That being said, completionism is a lot easier in this game, because they took out skill points, so... There's not really any point in exploring everywhere and everything except to make sure you find all the flavor text and items, so I'm still going to do that, but there's much less to look for. Anyway, two more soy foods and a loaf of bread bring me up to a good five bits of food, which is nice. I should go ahead and quick save. Let's explore the rest of Billy's apartment. Her bathroom's empty. She's got a chest I can't open. Doors and locks tutorial. When you focus on a door or container, two indicators will appear to the left of your targeting cursor. These indicators help determine if the object is locked and how much damage the object can take before it is destroyed. The leftmost indicator displays the strength of the object. If no indicator is displayed, the object cannot be destroyed. The rightmost indicator displays the lock strength of the object. Lock strength is represented by one to three lock icons. The number of lock icons corresponds to the number of multi-tools necessary to open it. If no lock icon appears, the object is not susceptible to multi-tooling. So, 
This is as good a time as any to talk about two big changes. I've already mentioned they stripped out the skill system entirely. And on top of that, they made some big changes to the augmentation system, but I'll get to that later. In accordance with uh, stripping out the skill system, lockpicking and electronics have been combined. You can't get any better at it, you just have to spend between one and three multi-tools to open any given lock or bypass any device. Anyway, I have no multi-tools right now, so there's no... I can't get in there, period. I don't think there's anything else back here. So, let's head on out. Please remain in the main complex. You can still heal yourself a little bit with water, if I remember right, but I'd have to take damage before I could be certain. Make way. Oh, he doesn't want to say anything else. Let's try this intercom. Attention trainees. Hi, Self -study Clara. Last only until Sorry, the I'm not in my hour. quarters right now. I'm probably on the lower level for training, but thanks for stopping by. Alright, these news terminals... Uh, well, they talk to you. Breaking news. The city of Chicago is under attack. We've only just received the first report. Until Some our security assessment changes, process will be operating as a closed campus. It is known that the city Please is suffering from some sort of disintegrative explosion. Nanotech is suspected. An excessively high mortality rate is expected. No known organization has yet taken responsibility for the attack. When you drink a cup of coffee, you drink Pequod's. Because Pequod's is a pioneer of the new economy. Efficient, Attention trainees, self-study will last only until the top of the hour. Nutrition and biomedicine. Our coffee will whiten your teeth and protect against ulcers. Pequod's, coffee for your kind of world. When you drink a cup of coffee, you drink Pequod's, because Pequod's is a pioneer of the new economy. Efficient, Until modern, our security clean. assessment changes, the process will be operated as a first and biomedicine. Please remain in Our coffee complex. will whiten your teeth and protect against ulcers. Pequod's coffee for your kind of world. More details on the Chicago disaster. As far as we know now, only one bomb was detonated in a major downtown area, destroying everything within a wide but as of yet undetermined Attention radius. Training. All structures and life within the range of the weapon appear to be reduced to cinders. It is not known if any evacuation procedures were successful. Breaking news. The city you can cut her off by looking away, which is nice. Now... <clears throat> I'll get to this more as we proceed through the storyline, but another reason I don't like this game, the core storyline is okay, but when characters from the first game start reappearing, they act completely contrary to their characters in the first game, and that bothers me. But I digress. Let's talk to this guard and then move along. What's going on? I saw one of your troopers killed. All part of SSC duties. I can't comment except to say the situation will be under control shortly. What do you mean, no comment? I saw a man die. Move along. I know you have your orders and I have mine. Now let me do my job. I've got just as much training as you do, if not more. Why don't you let me help out? Why don't you keep your mouth shut and just stay out of SSC's way? Until our security Nothing to see here. Move along. The process will be operating as a closed campus. Please remain Nothing to see complex. here. Move along. All right. So let's head down to Tarsus Recreation, and believe it or not, with this this hallway with the two apartments is a full map for Invisible War. I know, it's tiny. But let's head on in, change the map, Tarsus Recreation. Oh, and we have to confirm that we want to go through a load zone, which that I guess is actually kind of nice, but... The Order was founded shortly after the Collapse, attracting many of those who lost family and faith in the catastrophe. Alright. I'll try to read those tooltips to you, at least if there's something we haven't seen before. Tarsus Recreation. Compass Tutorial. The compass at the top of your screen shows the direction you are facing. This is useful in finding your way through the world, especially when characters you meet give you directions. Alright. Fine and dandy. So if we go over here to the window... I know what you must be thinking. Don't worry. This won't be a repeat of Chicago. The facility's under attack. By who? No one. Just an isolated incident. Listen, we want the trainees to stay in the rec area. You'll be safe down here. Doctor! Doctor! We have a code yellow. Uh, hello, Stan. Are you sure? One of the guards turned up dead. I'll be right there. You'd better introduce yourself to the others. Clara's just down the hall and Leo's running laps around the track. 
What's going on? I have a right to know if I'm in danger. You'll be safe in the wreck area. Go, Alex. I don't have time to debrief every one of the trainees. All right. So let's go to our data vault. Primary goal, Tarsus Assault, meet Clara. Meet Clara Sparks. She's down the hall from Dr. Nassif's office. Tarsus Assault, meet Leo. Meet Leo Jankowski. He's running laps on the track. Those are both primaries. And Nassif is running away. All right. Well, let's go ahead and listen to her. We can buy a candy bar for 20 credits. I say no thank you to that. Hello there, you must be Alex. I'm Clara Sparks. Hi, what's going on? It looks like this facility is under attack. Probably just more demolition. That's Upper Seattle, you know, always growing. We hear it all the time. Hey, you must be overwhelmed. I mean, Chicago, the whole city. Was your family from there? My foster parents. Your parents? Oh, that's terrible. I'm so sorry. If I can do anything to make you feel more at home, let me know. I'm not kidding about an attack. I saw a guard die in an explosion. Really? I haven't heard any shooting. Are you sure it wasn't an accident? No, but the man who interrupted Dr. Nassif mentioned a code yellow emergency. Does this sort of thing happen a lot? Ask Dr. Nassif. I'm just a trainee. They moved me here a couple weeks ago. After the attack on Chicago, aren't you a little nervous? Why so many transfers? Actually, Leo and I requested to be sent here because this is where you finish training and get briefed on your first assignment. Isn't it exciting? I wonder what company I'll be working for. So you've been here two weeks. Any advice? Just do your best and I'm sure you'll get a good rating. We have drills in the morning, exercise and self-study in the afternoons, Oh, and you'll be getting a suite of biomods. They give you the infusions during the first week. Sounds as though you like it here. Oh, sure. In the evening, we're usually <coughs> free to move about the city. This building is at the edge of Upper Seattle. You'll be amazed at what a nice enclave the WTO has built. Yeah? Actually, I feel a little guilty when I think about all the people still living in post-collapse shanties. My family's from Lower Seattle. Billy and I are from Old Chicago. We had sector passes to go to the Tarsus School in the New Chicago Enclave. Guess all that's gone now. Billy and I, we always plan to send money home once we got assigned. Okay, we completed our goal. Take care of yourself, Alex. You've been through a lot. It was good meeting you. I think you'll like it here. Just give the place a chance. I think you'll like it here. Just give the place a chance. Alright, there's nothing else in here, so... Let's go out to the track and... Talk to this guy running laps. So, they let the Chicago transfers out of their cages. You're looking at Leo Jankowski. You train here now, so I guess you can call me Leo. Alex, I just talked to Dr. Nassif. Know anything about a code yellow emergency? A security guard has been murdered. Would I be running if there was an emergency? Me? You never heard the name Leo Jankowski in Chicago? Uh, sorry. I'm the one with the perfect special ops rating. They didn't tell you this? Why would they keep it a secret? Ever heard the name Alex D? They told me the same thing. What? Really? Just kidding. Listen, I'm serious. You didn't hear the explosions? I saw a guard killed right in front of me on the apartment level. Probably staged. A test for the new transfers. They rewrote the exercises because of my performance. If there was trouble, they'd notify me immediately. The guard was dead. I'm sure of it. Better look again. They did the same thing to me during Summer Recon. I got a perfect score because I kept my cool. Sounds like you're in this for the adventure. Why'd you sign up? Money? My foster parents enrolled me at a Tarsus Middle School. I never thought about it much. An orphan? You were pretty pampered for an orphan. Why not be a banker or something? I grew up in old Chicago, not some cozy enclave. My parents made it clear I was gonna have to make it on my own. When I got picked for the covert ops program, I figured what the hell. What the hell? What kind of assignment do you expect with that attitude? A risky one, with a big salary. Let me finish my run. Is that what you plan to tell corporate headhunters? What the This is no drill. The facility is under attack. Alex, please get the med kit and the multi-tools from your equipment locker next to the basketball court. Just a precaution, I'm transmitting the soft key ID to your data vault right now. More details when they become available. <laughs> All right. Well, I tried to talk Leo to death, but I don't think we quite heard everything from him, but that doesn't really matter. New primary goal, Tarsus Assault. Get equipment. 
Get the equipment from your locker in the training area. New key code acquired. Alex D's locker. Awesome. Gosh, I wonder what the D stands for. Especially considering we found Alex Denton in a tank in Area 51 in the first game. I guess it's not really supposed to be a mystery, but then I don't know why they just didn't give him the Denton name to start off with. So, let's head down here. This report's serious. Maybe it's just a drill. Who would attack a school? Red alert. There has been a severe security breach. I hope it's nothing serious. Alright. Oh, here's Leo. I bet it is a drill. Some kind of test. Dr. Nassif, please report They'll to They'll be watching to see how we handle ourselves. I guess there's not much we can do yet. Red alert. I bet it there is has a been drill. a severe Some security kind of breach. Alright, now we'll head down these stairs. Soda machine, tw 20 credits. Same as before. Now, one thing I don't really like about this game... I get, uh, I'll talk about that more when I get to the bio mods, actually. Never mind. Red alert. There has been a severe security breach. Get your equipment. I'll watch your back. You better move. This is the real thing. Dr. Nassif, we're not alone down here. Get your equipment. I'll watch your back. Okay. Well, let's head in here then. Red alert. There has been a severe security breach. Anything back here? Nope. Ah, uh, here we go. Four lockers. Leo, Alex, Clara, and Billy. Leo's is unlocked, so let's get in there. I got two food and two ammo clips. Alright. My own locker I can open. There is a baton. Terrorists seem to belong to the Order. Religious fanatics. Their exact objective is unclear. All trainees will evacuate the facility immediately. Use the elevator in my office. Alright. First, let's read up on our baton. A heavyweight polyurethane baton, ideal for non-lethal incapacitation. Well, excellent. Here we've got a pistol. Ammo tutorial. You have just acquired a weapon and ammo. To equip a weapon outside the inventory screen, highlight in your t highlight it in your tool belt with the mouse wheel and press right mouse. To unequip a weapon, highlight an equipped weapon or an empty tool belt slot and press right mouse. When you equip a ranged weapon, an ammo counter will appear in the lower left section of your on-screen interface. The counter displays how many shots remain in the current clip. The notches to the left of the counter display how many clips you have in reserve. Ammo is universally compatible, but different weapons will use ammo at different rates. You can also equip items from the tool belt with keys 1 through 6 on your keyboard. Okay. Let's read about the pistol. Pistol, a modern 9mm pistol manufactured by Mako Ballistics. Alternate fire mode toggles a beam flashlight. Mods. For a pistol, we have Ammo Scavenger, which increases the number of shots per ammo clip. EMP Converter. Charges shots with an electromagnetic pulse, which damages bots, cameras, and turrets. EMP shots drain more ammo. Fragmentary Round. Causes shots from ballistic weapons to explode into fragments upon impact, inflicting radius damage. Glass Destabilizer. Vaporizes glass with ultrasonic vibrations, breaks the glass silently, and does not trigger alarms wired to the glass. I increased damage. Increases the damage inflicted by each shot fired. Increased range. Increases the firing range of a weapon. Refire rate. Increases weapon refire rate. And Silencer. Dampens weapon sounds, including those of firing and impact. Once installed, will affect every shot fired from that weapon. Of course, I have no mods available for install right now. New primary goal, Tarsus Assault, exit the facility, exit the Tarsus Complex. There's more here, but I can't really see it right now. So why don't I, uh, well, let's read flavor text for multi-tools. All-purpose tool for bypassing basic security tech like keypads and locks, as well as for disabling cameras and turrets. Ineffective on complex systems like bots or security computers. Let's go ahead and use the alt fire mode, which is a flashlight. Perfect. Med kit. Beautiful. Med kit. Restores health. Well, that's very straightforward. So, we can use a multi tool to open one of these lockers. We can either get 
This one is credits and a spider bomb. This one is ammo and an energy cell. I say we go for the energy cell. Ammo and an energy cell. All right, good. Okay, got my baton out. It has no alt fire, that's fine. So, I'm ready for non-lethal incapacitation. Got my baton. Let's roll. Warning. Autonomous security systems have been compromised. We've got trouble. I spotted a seeker coming our way. Look, there's no reason for me to drag a trainee into a firefight. Why don't you try to slip out before I start shooting? Sounds like a good way to become a target. Not if you're careful. Just stick to the shadows, crouch, and move slowly. You'll come through just fine. Let's ask for more pointers. Any more pointers? Sure. Want to keep a low profile? Manage the line of sight situation. Hide behind things. Watch where the enemy's head is facing. And listen. I'm always surprised how much these amateur commandos give away by talking to themselves during a fight. Okay. I'll get out without being seen. Good luck. I'll hold fire as long as I can. I'm gonna... Obviously, I'm gonna try and take the Seeker out non-lethally with the baton so the guard doesn't kill him. Stealth tutorial. Sometimes the best course of action is to not be seen or heard. Moving slowly or staying in the shadows will help you avoid enemy detection. You are harder to see and hear while crouching. To crouch... Excuse me. To crouch, click F. Click F again to stand up. Walking slowly or crouch walking will make it less likely that your footsteps will be heard. When attempting to go unnoticed, avoid walking on stone or metal surfaces. The cloak and move silently biomods can also improve your stealth among organic enemies. Thermal masking can make you invisible to bots and cameras. Awesome. This is not a drill. I repeat, this is not a drill. Uh, Intruders are storming the facility. Evacuate immediately. I will find you. Someone thinks they're real sneaky. Warning. Autonomous security systems have been compromised. Say your prayers. <laughs> Ow! Wait till it's... <laughs> All right, he's this down. I took a little bit of damage, but I got plenty of food. Let's just chat. Soy! Soy, the complete snack, engineered to provide maximum nutrition, not a single molecule wasted on added flavor or texture. And now health is full again. Now let's look at what this guy dropped. He dropped an EMP grenade. That's definitely useful. EMP grenade emits an electromagnetic pulse that disables bots, cameras, and turrets within its radius, detonates after a brief duration, or can be set to detonate on contact by using the alternate firing mode. Also, energy cell. A bioelectric energy battery that powers nanotech biomods. Can be used to replenish a modified person's power supply. Alright, let's move his body right quick. Grab his ammo and clip. I repeat, and this quick is not save. The Intruders are storming the facility. Evacuate immediately. And keep moving. Here comes Billy. Oh, she's heading for the elevator. Okay. Warning. Autonomous security systems have been compromised. I don't think there's anything up here. So let's head through here. This Billy, what are you doing? We all got the same orders. Get out of the facility through Nassif's office. Forget that. How do you know they won't just cut us loose given all this trouble at their facilities? Grab what you can now. Get your biomods installed. Tarsus owes us that much. I got mine, and they're worth the trouble. How? The facility's being locked down and evacuated. Go back to your apartment. You'll be able to get to the biomod lab through a breach the order made in the residential area. Wait, do you know what's going on? The order contacted me in Chicago and told me how to uncover Tarsus' treachery. We're not trainees. We're test subjects. Finding out I've been used like that, I don't feel so bad about disobeying orders. But where does the order fit into all this? I thought they were a world church, not private investigators. I need this to know more before I start making I mean, decisions. The Order believes in natural balance, Intruders and they see Tarsus' operations as a violation of that. It's impossible to live a balanced life if your actions are secretly manipulated by a lab with its own agenda. Now you have a chance to see the real Tarsus. Explore the facility, starting with your apartment. Alright. She's leaving. She's locked us out of the elevator. 
We don't have two multi-tools. We couldn't anyway. Let's go to the data vault. Primary goal... Tarsus Assault, go to Biomod Lab. Go back to your apartment and find the breach that leads to the hidden Biomod Lab. Okay. We can do that. Here comes another load zone. J.C. Denton's destruction of Area 51 plunged the world into a period of depression and war known as the Collapse. Alright. I guess we know J.C. blew up Area 51. If you want to avoid confrontations in the hall, you can crawl through a vent shaft I found earlier. It connects Clara's and Leo's apartments. Enter the apartment on your immediate left to get to it. Alright. Fairly straightforward. Now here... Hey! Your He's got another pistol, which there's no reason to carry two. To our cause. Stun prod. There we go. My favorite weapon. Delivers a short-ranged electrical stun attack to a single organic target. And a flash bomb. Once thrown, this bomb creates a bright flash that blinds hostile targets in the area and then dies out with slowly fizzling flare, detonates after a brief duration, or can be set to detonate on contact by using the alternate firing mode. There's no need to have that on my tool belt, so... Let's just move it into the more general inventory. Same with the EMP grenade. Okay. That all looks good. Never thought I'd see people die. Got another ammo clip. Okay. There's a seeker down there. Guess I gotta take him down. Sounds like a plan to me. Cover me when I charge him? I mean, I can handle it by myself. It's just that in training, we always had backup. May her holiness watch over and guide you. You stay here. I'll take care of it. Right. <laughs> what was I thinking? Go ahead. I'll watch the rear. Figures they'd ship me to a war zone. This? This is too much. I can't believe it. This? This is too much. I can't believe it. Alright. He's repeating himself now. The news terminal is now out of order. Hello? Our Who's that? Are securing the building on fire. Oh, we have reprogrammed oh. your security systems to neutralize threats to our cause. So I can stun him. I can zap him once. And then, uh... Switch to my baton. But... He's got another pistol. Let me get my flashlight going. There's the ammo clip. That's what I was looking for. Oh, yeah, there's the guard who originally died. So I'll grab a little more ammo. Okay. Now let's heal up with the water fountain. We are now in control of this facility. Uh, you can only you can only get like one uh, one food's worth of healing from him. But that's all right. Our seekers are securing the building on foot. So we go back into Billy's now ransacked apartment, and we find that her food has completely restocked. That's handy. I still lack a multi-tool to get in there. It looks like. There's an EMP grenade inside. We are here to rescue you from an inhumane scientific experiment. Hear us. You have been brainwashed. Now, Eject we've already seen this hallway, so let's make sure we check out the other apartments first. Like we were like Billy Order wanted us to do. May her holiness Thank watch over and you. Thanks a million. No telling what it was going to do next. Guess I'll go ahead and use one of those food. Bread, lots of air and even a little nutrition. Health boosted with active mold cultures. Awesome. You guys are the pros. Tarsus grads, I mean. I'm just trying to make a living. Guess he forgot his bullet this is the there. We are now in control of this facility. I'm staying right here. So in here, there's a busted communicator. This is uh Clara's apartment, if I remember right. Let's get our flashlight back. Another piece of bread.
There's nothing in her bathroom. Her chest is unlocked. It's got a hundred credits, an ammo clip, and a combat knife. Combat knife, a heavy military knife, ultra high carbon steel, virtually unbreakable. Heft and balance make it suitable for slashing and stabbing. I'm not gonna bring it with me, but I wanna give you guys all the flavor text, just like I did in Deus Ex Original. Now here by the bed, there's another EMP grenade. Now that is handy. Let's crouch down and crawl through the vent. There's a multi-tool in here. In the interest of completeness, I'd like to see if I can get back down. I don't think I can. Yeah, security lockout. I can't go open Billy's locker to get the spider bomb and credits, unfortunately. I can, however, go get the EMP grenade out of her chest, which I am going to do. I can just head straight into Leo's apartment. Here's the vent where we would have come out. He's got some more food, bread, soy food. Another multi-tool. That's good. We head over to his chest. Nothing in his bathroom. There is a pre-recorded message here. You will each be interviewed individually in the near future to determine your interests and how they position you within the company. Please keep in mind how important security has become. We are looking for assurances that moving you into these new positions is the right thing at this time. No one has yet claimed responsibility for the attack on Chicago. We don't know with any certainty whether it was an accident, an ideological strike against the WTO enclave there, or something else. Fortunately, we were able to evacuate the trainees there. They will be joining us at this location and you will be meeting them shortly. We appreciate your patience during this stressful period. You will each be interviewed individually in the near future to determine your interests and how they position you within the company. Please keep in mind how important security has become. We are looking now, for assurances that moving you into the There's a multi-tool the right under the pillow, you might have noticed. So I will grab that with gratitude. In Leo's chest, we have we a med kit and a concussion prox mine. A proximity explosive that can be affixed to any flat surface. Once set, the mine is detonated by any movement within close range. In alternate firing mode, it detonates after a brief duration. I'll hold on to that for now, at least. <clears throat> yeah, there's nothing inside his bathroom, so we are done in this apartment. Our seekers are securing the building on foot, and we have reprogrammed your security systems to so head, head back into my apartment now. Watch the ceiling while I cut the power. That's one of the subjects. I'm just a sound barrier. He can see us. You have been brainwashed. Reject our. What do you think you'll do? Who established it? Which one is it? D zero three. Order be praised. May her holiness watch over you. Didn't get a chance to read the file. Maybe we should leave. Not with a security grid malfunctioning. We're fine right here. Let's hope he has a sense of humor. This is the order. We are now in control of this facility. All right, let's check my kitchen. Get some more food. That's always useful. I'm going to mantle up onto the fridge. Then mantle up here. Let's turn my flashlight back on. We have reprogrammed your security systems to threats to our cause. I have sworn there was something up here. Yeah, there it is. Boltcaster! Right mouse to pick up. Boltcaster, an accelerator that electromagnetically launches a bolt to deliver a non-lethal neurotoxin to the target. Alternate fire mode toggles a scope. It's got the same mods, uh, same potential mods as the pistol. Now, the Boltcaster is worth hanging on to. And, uh... I'm gonna drop the flash bomb. It's always good to keep at least one open inventory slot, so. We are here to rescue 
Until I get, at minimum, my light biomod, I need to hold on to the pistol for the sake of having the flashlight. So, I've got my bolt caster now. That's awesome. Let me check my bedroom right quick. Alright, there's nothing in here. Now we head into my bathroom, and there's a big hole in my shower. So, let's head through. Ladder tutorial. You are approaching a ladder. To begin climbing, face the ladder, look up or down, then move forward. Once you are on the ladder, look in the direction you wish to climb, then continue to move forward. Alright. Easy enough. I'm just trying to put things away. Here we go. Object stacking is alive and well, but we don't need to. We can just mantle up the wall here. And let's travel to the Biomod Laboratory. After the collapse, Seattle chose not to raise its ruins. Pillars in Old Lower Seattle hold up the platform on which Upper Seattle rests. Here we are in the Biomod Lab. This is the order. We are now in control of this facility. You've already seen the lab, so I guess it won't hurt anything for you to install a few Biomods. You'll be needing them. The canisters will transfer seed populations of nanites into subregions of your body. You will need to configure each subpopulation for a specific skill. For instance, the actin drivers in your legs can either increase your speed or quiet your footsteps, not both. It's a little late for a seminar on my biomod architecture. The TARSIS program may be unconventional, but trust me, we take care of our trainees. The people attacking TARSIS, are they the ones responsible for Chicago? What's going on? The Order is an intolerant cult. They hate multinational corporations and the private security forces that protect them. Which means me. Exactly. But I don't think they were involved with Chicago. They're a worldwide organization, not a band of terrorists. Doesn't look that way to me. Many organizations would like to see us fail. That's perhaps all I should say for now. Why should I trust someone who spies on me in my own apartment? We keep our operations secret for a reason, Alex. Don't expect a full debriefing while you're still in danger of being captured. Now install your biomods and get out of there. All right, new goals. Tarsus Assault, install biomods. Use the biomod canisters to upgrade your systems. First, we got a data cube on the table. Biomod overview. There are five body slots for biomodification. Arm, cranial, eye, leg, and skeletal. Only one type of biomod can be installed in a slot at a time. With additional canisters, you can overwrite with a new biomod or upgrade the current one. Bioelectric energy cells power all active biomods. Over here, we've got a multi-tool. And... Three data cubes. Biomod energy drain. Passive biomods do not require activation and drain no bioelectric energy. Active biomods, however, must be turned on and drain power while they are operating. Active biomods include vision, regeneration, spy drone, speed, cloak, and thermal masking. Drones only drain power when performing their primary function. Bot domination also drains energy in this way. Piezo Chem Biomods. Here are the current prototypes listed by body slot. Arm, Enhanced Strength Biotox Attack Drone. Cranial, Cloak Hazard Drone. Eye, Regeneration Vision Enhancement. Leg, Move Silent Speed Enhancement. Skeletal, Aggressive Defense Drone and Thermal Masking. Documented Illegal Biomods. Arm, Bot Domination. Cranial, Neural Interface. Eye, Spy Drone. Leg, Health Leech Drone. Skeletal, Electrostatic Discharge. Now, <clears throat> any Biomod canister... We are here to you. Let me explain the Biomod system to you now that I have... Well, how to install Biomods. You have just acquired a Biomod canister. Biomods are used to upgrade and customize your character. Press B to go to the Biomod screen. To select a Biomod slot, left click on it. To display the Biomod upgrades available for the selected slot, left click the Install button. Next, to install a Biomod, left click the desired Biomod upgrade, then left click the graphical Install button. Alright, so we have three canisters, let's go to the screen. So, light is... I have the light Biomod already, which is good. Allows you to see in dark areas, cannot be upgraded. Eye Biomod. This slot accepts Biomod infusions for the eye. Biomod Options, Regeneration, Vision Enhancement, or Spy Drone. 
For each slot, there are two standard biomods and one black market biomod. You can only choose one of the three, and each one has three tiers. The difference from the original Deus Ex is that at any time you can strip out an active biomod and install a new one, but it sets it back to level one. You can do that as many times as you want, but I really don't. I try to think about what I want to keep for the entire game. And the consequence of this is that your character gets maxed out pretty fast because it doesn't take long to find 15 canisters. And once you do, you're pretty uber and the game becomes very easy. Anyway, let's look at my options. Eye Biomod. Regeneration. Reconstructs organic tissues to heal user. Vision Enhancement. Enables night vision, enhancing critical targets. Or Spy Drone. Acts as remote spy camera and delivers an EMP attack when detonated. I probably eventually want regeneration here, but not right now. Neural interface. Enables user to hack security computers, no energy cost. Provides protection from radiation... Hazard drone. Provides protection from radiation, biotoxins, and other environmental hazards. And cloak. Provides near invisibility to organic enemies. User becomes visible when you fire a weapon. This is by far the toughest choice I'm going to have to make, whether I want cloak or the ability to hack. I will probably ultimately choose hacking. So I'm going to hold off on that until I find black market biomods. Here, Spy Drone is really good, just like it was in Deus Ex 1. You can use it as a remote EMP a grenade, but you have enough other methods of doing EMP attacks that it's not a top priority. Vision enhancement is much more useful in this game than it used to be, but I'm not certain that's what I want just yet. Skeletal Biomod. Thermal masking provides near invisibility to bots and mechanical units. User becomes visible when firing a weapon. No surprise there. Aggressive defense drone. Stops incoming rockets and grenades by detonating them midair before they reach the user. Electrostatic discharge. Charges melee attacks with EMP damage, no energy cost. Again, that's pretty good because it essentially would let me take out bots and such with my baton, but thermal masking is probably better. Arm Biomod. Strength Enhancement. Enhances melee damage, throwing distance, and damage done to targets by thrown items. Increases carrying capacity, no energy cost. Biotox Attack Drone. Fires non-lethal biotox darts at all hostile targets. Bot Domination enables first-person control of bots, cameras, and turrets. I'm going to take th all three levels of Strength Enhancement to beef up my Baton and Stun Prod damage, since I'll be using those more than anything else. Finally, Leg Biomod, Speed Enhancement. Enhances movement rate and jump distance, decreases fall damage. Health Leech Drone. Breaks down corpses and uses them for reconstructive healing, double healing from unconscious targets, and move silent. Dampens movement sounds and increases the height from which you can fall and sustain no damage, no energy cost. Now you might have noticed that crouching doesn't silence you the way it did in Deus Ex 1, which means that the choice between uh, speed enhancement and move silent is much more clear cut this time. For my first set, I think I'm going to take three levels of Move Silent. Leg Biomod, Move Silent. Level 1 dampens movement sounds while walking and increases the height from which you can fall and sustain damage, no energy cost. At level 2, dampen sounds while jogging can fall safely and silently from a greater height without sustaining damage. So we'll upgrade. Finally, at level 3, Dampens all movement sounds and increases the height from which you can fall without sustaining damage. Maximum level. <clears throat> Dampens all movement sounds can fall safely and silently from a greater height. Then I'll get strength enhancement next. Well done. Enjoy. Even though they run on normal energy cells, your systems are far more efficient than the standard PA's account are you praised. Now get down to the street. The elevator on this level uses the lab's general access code, 3445. There. Completely silent. No energy cost. That's much better. Let's talk to this person. The terrorists reprogrammed our security, and that turret up there means business. So we're trapped because the order's out there taking down scientists. There's got to be some way to outsmart a camera. 
If you can sneak past the camera or take it out with EMP, you'll be fine. As soon as that camera catches sight of a target, the turret opens fire. Sounds easy enough. Do you want to follow me through? I'm not willing to take that risk, but you guys are trained for that sort of thing. I'm just supposed to be quietly observing students and taking notes from behind the glass. Hopefully backup will show up soon and rescue me, but you don't have that luxury. You cannot let yourself be captured. Okay, have it your way. Seekers closing in and our own security system turned against us. We're trapped. With your background, you should have no problem sneaking by the camera or taking it out with an EMP. I never expected something like this to happen. A raid? I thought we were prepared for every eventuality. Yes, I watched you. In time, you'll see that it was all worth it. We are now in control of this facility. We needed to know everything. Not just the biochemistry, but how you might use it. You have no idea how important this project is. If you were in our position, you would see why it was critical to monitor your progress. We know you're a person, and we respected your privacy as much as we could. We were only gathering data. I never expected something like okay. this. Okay. Well, now that I have my light bio mod, there's no longer any need for me to carry the pistol. And um I'm going to move the bolt caster to the tool belt. There we go. A raid? I thought we were prepared for every eventuality. Okay. She said everything she's going to say. Trust me. Tarsus has a strict policy against voyeuristic behavior by our researchers. Your living quarters were observed only to ensure that our graduates show no behavioral abnormalities after the biomod infusion procedure. Grab another bit of food and read a data cube. Subject journal, Alex D. Arrival, brainwaves theta 6.3 cycles per second. Fatigue, curiosity, stress indicators minimal. Muscle fiber scan inaccurate. Subject did not disrobe. Suggest requiring Chicago subjects to shower before briefing. Sleep, 2.3 cycles per second, 1.7 cycles per second, 3.9 cycles per second. No dreams. Subject awoken by loud noise. Interesting. Okay. Cameras and turrets. When a camera detects an intruder, it will sound an alarm, alerting guards and activating turrets. Cameras and turrets are highly resistant to bullets, but susceptible to explosives, EMP attacks, and multi-tools. You can often sneak past cameras by avoiding their field of view or by using the thermal masking biomod. Some cameras and turrets are linked to security computers. If you have the computer login or the neural interface biomod, you can control or shut them down. One multi-tool to bypass it, one EMP grenade to take it down, but it's so easy to just sneak past it. There's really no call to do anything else. An energy cell. Energy cells. You have just acquired an energy cell. Using active biomods will deplete your bioenergy supply. Using energy cells restores bioenergy, allowing for continued use of active biomods. To use an energy cell, press I to open your inventory screen. Select the energy cell by highlighting it with arrows and then pressing enter. Press enter again to use the energy cell. Each energy cell will replenish your bioenergy supply. Alright. Up the stairs. Nice and easy. No trouble at all. You must be the captain who goes down with the ship. In a manner of speaking, we won't hand our research over to fanatics. Not without a fight. Something's happening. Another squad of terrorists. Where? Right below us. They're going through the apartments. You sure you're gonna stay and fight? If our enemies capture this facility, they'll learn how you were made. Stand by us, Alex. You're the one with combat training. Maybe you could handle the intruders before they reach my companion and me. Is this entire facility for studying us, the trainees? Was I under the microscope in Chicago, too? Biomodification is more involved than you might imagine, Alex. This facility was for your protection. You know my name. I better know a lot more than that if my code is going to be regulating protein synthesis in the cells of your body. Goal received. Protect scientists. <clears throat> Secondary goal. Protect the scientists on the observation deck from the invading seekers for a reward. Alright, now this can actually get a little bit hairy. The seekers are down below me. Oh, and I think they just killed the other poor scientists.
feels so good. I bet a bird. You want a piece of me? Everything's going I don't know how much more of this I can take. Okay, it looks like they take. Oh, man. Well, none of that was very good. Each time the WTO incorporates another city, the order raises an impassioned outcry against the spread of materialism and consumerism. None of that went very well, and I'd actually like to try and save the ground level scientists too, if I can. I wasn't quite able to save her, so let's try again. Tarsus Academies runs elite schools and training facilities worldwide, providing the world with tomorrow's leaders. That's very interesting, but... There we go. Our seekers are securing the building. We have programmed your security systems to neutralize threats to our cause. They're unconscious, and I successfully kept the other one alive. That's good. I don't want to waste a multi-tool. Let's go ahead and use an EMP grenade. Oh, no, there's... They're... They're... Okay. I guess I do... If I don't take out the camera, then the turret is going to kill that other scientist, so... Multi-tools disable electronic and mechanical devices like security cameras, keypads, and locks. Alright. For Her Holiness! Let's handle these guys. Damn. Wasn't fast enough. Now, I do hate the way that it, uh, bounces you out to the main menu if you die. Bots are quite resistant to bullets, fire, and poison. Alright, I'm gonna use an EMP grenade as soon as I knock out the Seekers. For Her Holiness. Take more than that. There we go. Alright, I think we're now finally actually... Alright. They each have pistols and nothing else. Okay. I'm just gonna chow down on some of this food. Refill my health again. Now that that's all done. Let's head upstairs and chat with the scientists. Well done, Alex D. I just read in your file that of all the trainees, Dr. Nassif picks you as the most likely to support higher objectives. She appears to have been right. When do I find out what this program is all about? When we have you safe inside another Tarsus facility. We can no longer protect ourselves in North America. So the research is happening all over the world? First, let's get you out of here. I can't offer you much, but I was just repairing this silencer for Leo. Maybe you could make use of it. Thanks. That should fit most firearms. Good luck. Be careful of our turrets and alarms. The terrorists have reprogrammed them. I don't really enjoy being studied like this. All right. I'm going to put the silencer on the bolt caster. Excellent. You program the biomods? Our corporate sponsors do most of the junior level applications work. My contribution, minor as it may be, was to the chromatin synthesis module in the core architecture. What sponsor? The company I'm supposed to go to work for? <laughs> I think you'd better get out of here before one of these fanatics puts a red hood on your head. Admirable display of force. You were trained well. 
Too Quite bad you weren't in the field when all this yourself. trouble started. Thank you. You may well have saved my life. We don't want you falling into the wrong hands. You better go. You sure are a curious young man. You sure are a curious young man. Okay, let's talk to the other you one. You must be wondering if there is a connection between this attack and Chicago. I don't think so. Someone inside the Tarsus program broke ranks. By now, at least a half dozen groups are on our tail. The epicenter of the Chicago event was on the street in front of our building. We were the target. I'm sure of that. Reminds me of the early days after the collapse, when some governments used nukes to put down plagues and nanite swells. Someone views us as the new plague. A plague, yes, but not in the way they imagine. We've survived other attacks. We'll survive this one. Just melt away and regroup. That's war in the post-territorial world. This raid is just a probing action. The Order wants to find out what we're working on. Her Holiness fears we will take society through its next Brigagonic leap, but she would accept our work over time. The mastermind behind Chicago has no such adaptability. Take care, Alex. The program will endure as long as one of you survives. Go, before more Seekers arrive. Go, before more Seekers arrive. Alright. There's another scientist in here. The Order reprogrammed our security system. We're stuck here unless we can get past the beam trigger. What's it do? Trip an alarm? Are you kidding? This is a top secret lab. Those are gold beams. They're set up to flatline a person in about a quarter second. Is there another way out? I guess this room might have a ceiling vent or something, but that won't do me any good. I'm claustrophobic. If you've got a multi-tool, you might try hacking the control panel next to the beams, or disable it with an EMP weapon, or, or something else that might work. Just blow the whole thing up with a grenade. It's red beams that trip alarms, and green ones that trigger gas bombs. Well, that's useful. The colored light is holographic in nature, just a way to intimidate intruders. The laser beams themselves are invisible. I was on my way out when they hacked the security. I feel so helpless standing here, waiting to be gunned down by some fanatic. The Order Church is in big trouble if they finally give it in to the Absolutists. Her Holiness has run into trouble by taking a more moderate line towards scientific research. I guess the devout seekers want a strict interpretation of the scriptures, written around the time of the collapse. You see these absolutists in the news. They want a crusade against the rest of us. I feel so helpless standing here, waiting to be gunned down by some fanatic. It's red beams that trip alarms, and green beams... Alright, he's repeating gas. himself now. So let's see what we can find in here. Here we have a data cube. Analysis of illegal biomods. Fortunately, these rogue and independently produced biomods are still rare. They mimic Piesachem architectures for genetic compatibility. However, their infusion signatures are completely foreign, making it impossible to mix the technologies. The long-term effects of using such unethical and strange tools are still unknown. Anyway. Multi-tool required, but yes, we definitely want to use it. In here, we find a med kit and our first black market biomod canister. Using biomods. To use your biomods, press numpad 3 from your on-screen interface. Use up down to select the biomod you wish to activate. Press right mouse to toggle the biomod on. During the game, you can quickly toggle biomods on or off with hotkeys F1 through F6. Let's grab the med kit. And I do like Spy Drone. I'm gonna take Neural Interface over Cloak, I've decided. At level two, enable turning turrets on and off. Now I can hack computers. That is handy. The colored light is holographic in nature. Here Just we have an energy cell the and a multi-tool. Another data cube. The Dentons, Myth and Mystery. 
Although many of his actions remain shrouded in mystery, we do know that J.C. Denton played a major role in resolving the Grey Death Plague. However, some suspect that he also initiated the collapse. He began as an agent for UNATCO, but realizing that it was corrupt, he joined his brother Paul in the NSF revolutionaries. Both J.C. and Paul remain powerful and mysterious figures in the global imagination, even though no one has heard from either in decades. A few radical thinkers believe the Dentons will return, but most have concluded that they simply perished in the collapse. Alright, down here we've got ammo. Always handy for our riot prod. I was on my way out when they hacked and the bolt caster, if for no other reason. Now let's see what we can do here. I can use one of my multi-tools to get it open, but <clears throat> I would rather, if I can find it. I feel so helpless standing here waiting to here be it is. down by something. Security now. computer, right mouse to hack. Hacking tutorial. The Neural Interface Biomod allows you to hack into security terminals. To hack into a terminal, target it and press right mouse. At level 1, you gain access to the most basic functions on every terminal. Terminal. As you upgrade the Neural Interface, you will be able to access more advanced functions. Be careful, using the Neural Interface can attract attention or attacks. You must have something else to do right now. Have some respect. Go find someone else to bother. Stop acting so weird! Oops. Find a different way to amuse yourself. I thought I could control it with the mouse, Have but I need to do something else, apparently. I don't appreciate this. Alright. Let's turn off the security camera. Higher interface level required to manipulate the turret. I can, however, turn off the security beams as well. Awesome. Now that we're through here... You are near a medbot. If you are wounded, medbots are programmed to automatically attempt to heal you. Well, I guess that's handy. I'd still like to get into this room. It seems like I'll have to use a multi-tool to do it. Unless I can find a way to move this. Oh yeah, good. So let's head through the vent. There's a multi-tool in here. Now I can open this door from the inside. Let me see what's upstairs. Oh, there's another vent. Looks like we got a bot in there. Don't want to mess with that just yet. I can use a multi-tool to get credits and an energy cell. Yeah, yeah, we'll do it. Here comes a little jerk. Need to. Get out an EMP grenade. Be able to deal with the light spider bot. Reporting intrusion. Step out where I can see you clearly. Now he heard me open the vent. I think I saw something. Everything's going black. Looks like one shot with the bolt caster. You are an obstacle in my suit. I feel dizzy. Plus one whack. It's sufficient to handle these guys. So that's awesome. 
There's a camera here too. That I think I can I think I can sneak this one. Let's go get healed at the med bot. Biological restoration in progress. Finished repairing damage. That's nice. Thanks, bro. Anomaly detected. You see there's another multi-tool over here, which I want to grab. Need to watch the wall for security terminals. There it is. Attack in, this should let me shut off the camera. There we go. I can release the spider bot, but there's no need for that. Everybody's down and unconscious, which is the way I like them. So he's got an ammo clip. What you should already be noticing is how much easier it is to take people down, and even though I'm ostensibly playing on realistic, I can get shot in the face and just keep going like a tank. It is what it is. Let's get his ammo clip as well. Head up the stairs. And close in on the exit. The order is with you. Go, you're free. Who are you? I'm Lin Min Chen, High Elder to Her Holiness. We can't protect you in Upper Seattle. You will have to come to our church, then we can talk more. Protect me from who? Dr. Nassif. She will try to recapture you. No one forced me into the Covert Ops program. That's because you never tried to leave. Believe me, you would have been killed the second you let down those scientists. The ones posted around your bedroom back there. The only killers I've seen so far are your order troopers. I apologize. My overzealous captain disobeyed orders. He was instructed to mount a rescue. You can't control your own people? The church suffers from certain internal disputes. I can explain more later. Hurry, Alex. You'll find us in the old Hartford Turbine Factory in Lower Seattle. All right. New goal. Let's look at what we've got. Primary goal, report to church, order. Report to the Order Church in Lower Seattle. You can get to Lower Seattle via the Inclinator at the northwest corner of the Upper Seattle Enclave. And of course, we still have exit the Tarsus Complex. Okay. There is an energy cell next to the communicator here. And this load zone will take us to the Upper Seattle City Center. I will go ahead and do that. You can access the security computer if you have a valid login or the neural interface biomod. Anyway, we're going to get spit out in Upper Seattle. And those guys are going to talk to me, Upper Seattle City Center. But for now, I think that's plenty to be my first video for this game. So this has been Let's Play Deus Ex Invisible War. I will see you guys next time when we will tackle Upper Seattle. Until then, bye-bye.